Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Georgiana with Expressions Craft Studio and today I'm finishing up some cards <clears throat> and I had a couple pieces left over. I'll go over the original cards because I actually cut them out with my Cricut but these are just some pieces I had left over from a previous week's and I'm going to put a couple of those together. I've already done one here and basically I've just layered the uh, this sheet from, I believe it was the golden vellum thingy, was from um, Stampin' Up, and I talked about that in the last video. But I had some of that left over, so I'm using that. And then I uh, I actually stuck it down with, where did I put it? I've got these old, that's not a photo corner. Somewhere here, I had, oh, it's these the photo fix um, sticky tabs and so what I did was I just put those on the back of the vellum toward the inside where they wouldn't be visible from the let's see I don't know how I want to do this let's do it like that um, where they wouldn't be visible from the front side because you will be able to see them ever so slightly through the vellum so, oh, and that, that's the last of them. So these are old. I have had these for years and years. Um, I don't actually see a year on them, but I would say that they're, they're at least 15 years old. Um, I'm trying to see where I even got them. I can't read it. It's probably Joanne's in... Anchorage. Oh, does that one say? Oh, they were made in Denmark. Anyway, they're very old, so probably it would have been a good idea to use a little bit of glue. Um, these are from my scrapbooking days, and I am just realized they were up there after I tried to make some photo corners. Let me show you this. With my Cricut. Now, they came out okay, but they're really hard to work with because they're very small, and maybe I used too heavy a cardstock. But, um folding them was a bit of a challenge. So I'm going to look at that again, maybe make them a little bit bigger, but I ended up doing something different and I will show you that in a moment. But in the meantime, we're going to put this one together and I just want to make sure I get it centered. And we'll put it that way. Oops. Let's see here. Okay. So then I'm just going to lift back this corner and remove this tab and apply this down. Just kind of trying to hold it still so I don't move it. I'm not sure I'm being successful, but that's my goal. So that's now attached, and you can see where those where those little tape tabs are. But once I put the cover over the front of it, the front piece, you won't be able to see them. So I do need to trim this piece down real quick, and uh, and then I'll come back and finish this off. So let me put you on pause for just a second. All right, so I just quickly trimmed that down to three and three quarters by five. And now you can see it leaves a nice little matting layer behind there. So now I just need to adhere it. Um, let's see what's the best way. This is what I have handy, so we'll use this little tape runner. Oh. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to use the photo corners. Um, okay, let's put that back. And I'll, we'll grab these corners here. So, this is probably going to, I'm probably going to get this stuck down accidentally, but we'll try it. We'll see. So anyway, 
I, like I said, these are very, very old. I did have some clear ones here too, but I started with black, so I guess I'll finish with black. Okay, so I'm gonna lay that down and then I'll put the top two on. Except I've already stuck that down too. Hmm. It's not stuck stuck. Oh good. One and two. And like I said, these are really old. 15 to 20 years old at least. I probably should be using some glue. But I'm not. So there you go. So I've got another stack here. So these are the two I'm finishing today, and they are, and you can see I got that one crooked. I don't think I can straighten it out. I, I might, oh, might be able to. Yeah, so see, glue probably would be a good idea because that just peeled right off of there. Maybe that's because it's vellum, maybe not. But these are the two we're finishing today. And I'm using that same print, which is available in my coffee shop, which is link. I'll put a link below if you want it. It's a freebie. Um, actually, the one in the coffee might have a different background. The foreground would be the same, but the background might be different. So then here's this one, and this one, I cut. I cut this with the Cricut. So I cut the whole card out, and it put the score line in for me. And then it cut out these corners. And this is what, the way the joy works. But I don't have a joy, and I don't I don't need another piece of equipment. But I just wanted you to know you can do the same thing with your Cricut. And this was actually a shape I made myself. Um, it does come with some, but I like the kind of fancier look. So that's what I did with that one. And I, actually, I think I maybe used that on all of them. So. And I just trimmed those down to, to where they fit. Now, I did have to play with it a little bit because initially I had that kind of curve out a little bit more. And that made the it made me need to make the top layer smaller. So I kind of went in and adjusted that. But you can see, I really like that on the green. And this is a different shade of green, and I really like it too. In fact, it might be my favorite. One thing I did notice, though, after the fact, after I shared the file, this bird should be behind the bird cage, not in front of it. You know, so don't try not to notice that in case you know my pointing it out didn't do that for you. So this one's cut a little differently. I cut two shapes in there so I could just slip the card through it. And you can see, you can see it on the back side. Um, now, if you're going to put, which I have some here, where'd they go? Some center uh, sentiments in here. If you wanted to glue that down, it wouldn't be as noticeable then, so you could. Um, that's up to you. I just printed these out on my laser printer and cut them to fit. And I get two per page, and then I can put whatever sentiment I want on there. And it still leaves plenty of room for writing. And typically, I just glue it right in the middle there. And that way, if they wanted to flip it over and write there, too, they could. Um, but I just try to kind of keep it so it's kind of loose. You know. Anyway, so there's those. Um, here's another one on green. Okay, so this is one where I left the corners a little bit bigger and they circled back more. And because of that, I did have to uh, make my, my top layer smaller. And you can kind of, I think you can see here what I'm talking about. How that cut comes all the way over. Um, that, in, you know, that affected how big my top layer could be. So I, when I went back into design space, I basically just... Clipped all that off 
so that this little extra pieces there, those little extra cuts are gone. Uh, that probably doesn't make any sense. I'm in a bit frazzled right now, having some issues, but that's neither here nor there. So anyway, here's one on the dark red, and here's, now these ones are not on photo paper, they're just on cardstock. So the, the uh, cardstocks I used for the card bases are all basil cardstocks, and I've got avocado, almond cream, rainforest, and then I don't know what the red is because it cut off. So I don't know what one of those, I, actually I don't know what either one of the reds is because there are two of them there. Um, and the reason I chose the almond cream was because it was the closest to gold that I had. And I wanted it to kind of look Christmassy. Now what I may do, especially on some of these that are have the wider edges, I may go back and add some gold foil with a glue stick just to kind of add a little bit of extra contrast to it. I don't know for sure. But I will definitely go and, and insert all of my you know, my Christmas sentiments into the center. And I just made a bunch of them so that I would have a stash to pull from. So I've got, I think I've got three or four here. Looks like three. Unless I forgot to grab one. That's a card base. Um, so I've got three different ones that I can pull from, and I'll use those in the center of the cards, and then I'll attach my information on the back, and those will be good to go. And I have no idea even how many are here. And I believe this is week 40. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve! There's another dozen. So, gosh, I think that brings us up to 292. It's up there. So, yeah. Uh, week, unless I'm wrong, I'll correct it when I post the video. But I believe it's week 40, and it'll be 292 for the card totals. And there you go. That's what I got for this week. So, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I will share the link for the Cricut Files or the, D, the D design space files for the Cricut um, in my Facebook group. And as I said, I, there's a, there'll be a link for this um, background to the Kofi coffee page. Sorry, brain fart. Coffee page where you can just download this for free. I, I put it out there so that there's like a hundred for free, and I don't I don't know that anybody downloaded any yet. So um, there you go. You can get that for free. So thank you guys. I appreciate you joining me. Um, not sure what we'll work on next. Oh yes, I do have an idea for my next one. It will also be with Design Space, and I'm going to use some scenic background. Well, it's going to be a de uh, an easel card, and you'll just have to you'll just have to stay tuned but i think you'll like it it's really cute and i'm i'm going to work on that later today as a matter of fact so um let me know what you think again if you haven't been with me you're new here these are cards for soldiers i'm going to be donating them as well as for the angel card project and these are christmas cards for those two projects and um my goal was to have one card per day i'm ahead of my goal which is good because for cards for soldiers I have to ship those out pretty soon so that they'll have them by Christmas so um, I can't wait until the you know the, the last minute to get those out to them or they'll never get them so um, anyway that's what these are for I'll put their links below if you're interested and uh, if I can think of anything else I'll list it below and if you have any questions please ask and if you don't great that's good too that means maybe i explained everything really well <laughs> which i doubt oh here's here's another strip does it have the car or no is that the same one? Oh, i thought i was going to be able to tell you the red color sorry false alarm anyway um as i'm rambling thanks for joining me i appreciate it um i've got plenty of scraps here actually let me show you one other thing i'm going to do so as i've trimmed all of these photo paper front card fronts i've kind of been thinking well i hate to just throw those away so i kind of layered them out and a way that i can 
piece them on a card front just as a background. And so I've got two of them here. And I'm going to be playing with those too. Um, not exactly sure yet how I'm going to do it, but I will be using these scraps up instead of hanging on to them like I usually do and then trying to figure out what to do with them later. So there will be a couple more um, completed cards with these scraps. I'll probably put those on the pearl paper because I think they'll look good like that. I just kind of used a sticky note to keep them all kind of in order. So, And then I'll put a sentiment over it. So this one's going to need a few more, but... Yeah, anyway, uh, that's what I got for you this week. Week 40, Project Christmas Cheer 2023. And sorry for all the rambling. Uh, can't get my thoughts lined out today, but hopefully next time I'll be a little more organized. So thanks for joining me, everybody. And until then, happy crafting.